for the senators, Republican senators, and thus lost two Senate seats, we would right now be living in a very different world. We would be in a very different country. The truth is, I ran twice, I won twice, and I did much better the second time. And now, we just may have to do it again. Democrats are bad on the economy. They're horrible on inflation. They're terrible on the military, bad on taxes, bad on Ukraine. Should have never happened. And boy, are they bad on getting out. We were all set to get out of Afghanistan with dignity and strength. Remember that disaster? You know, without that, you might not have seen Ukraine because I think Putin was watching and he said, man, these people are incompetent. The only thing they're good at, frankly, is cheating on elections. They're experts at that. You could take the five worst presidents in American history and put them together, and they would not have done the damage Joe Biden has done in just 15 months. In just over a year, he has managed to kill, literally kill, the American dream. But do not lose hope, because with the right leadership, America will be back greater, stronger, and more powerful than ever before. Joe Biden's been one train wreck after another. Just take a look at what he's doing out at NATO. Ay, 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 these people. These people don't believe our representative. He disgraced our nation with his humiliating surrender in Afghanistan. And inflation is now, as you know, just reported highest in over 40 years. Gas prices are the highest in history. Think of that. And we had them below $2 a gallon. Think of that. And now it's going up to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How high can you count? Our borders are completely demolished. Bloodthirsty criminals are laying waste to our Democrat-run cities. There were more COVID deaths in 2021 than there were in 2020 with all the work we did, too. Who would have believed that? And just when you thought it couldn't get worse, Joe Biden totally failed to deter Russia's disgraceful invasion of Ukraine. All those people are dead. Putin's heinous attack on a proud and sovereign nation shocks the conscience of every person of goodwill, shocks the conscience of the people of Georgia, I can tell you, where we spent a fortune on your vets and we spent a fortune on rebuilding your military right here. What a job we did. The invasion of Ukraine should never have happened. And as everyone is saying, if I was in the White House, and they've had actually, I remember Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd. Did you ever hear of him? Like He's a sleepy pass. son of a bitch, and he's on. <laughs> he's on a show called Meet the Fake Press. You have that, you have Deface the Nation, you have all of these shows. But yes. he said, how come, he was talking to Blinken, and he said, so how come this never happened on Trump's watch? Why didn't it happen? He said they knew better. They did know better. They know better. By the way, do you mind if I put on a hat? It's windy as hell up here. Oh, let's go. They said, you know, they said to me, sir, it's windy as hell. You better put on a hat. You get blown to pieces. I said, I can handle it. 
And then the wind just doubled. I said, I've had it. I'm putting on it. But it would have never happened in Ukraine. It would have never happened 100 percent certain. And remember, I was the one, you know, when you look at what happened to those tanks, man, were they devastated. But I was the one that sent the javelins, not Obama. Obama sent blankets, you remember? They said he only sends blankets and pillows. In fact, I stand as the only president of the 21st century on whose watch Russia and Why are they getting so turned up over and putting his hat on? Because they're fucking idiots. What do you mean? And also They're during hogs. my four years, China never invaded Taiwan. Remember, they said, uh, oh, China's going to invade Taiwan. That never happened. I said, President Xi, you're not going to do that. But that'll be next because he sees what happened and he sees the weak leadership that we have. And that very well might be, although, you know, if you really think about it, he may be looking at this disaster going on with Russia. He may say, maybe we have other ways to spend our time. So you never know. But I would say that it's a very good possibility that he will invade Taiwan because he doesn't respect the United States of America any longer. And he had a lot of respect for us a year and a half ago. Under our administration, we had a slogan. It was called Peace Through Strength. And that's what it was. It was Peace Through Strength. And we were respected as a country like never before. And I say like never before. Our country was safe and the world was calm because America was strong. And America was perceived to be strong. I rebuilt our entire military. Two and a half trillion dollars I spent. And I redid our nuclear power. And I hate to even mention it and I hate having to do it. But we have the greatest nuclear power right now in the world, far greater than any other country. That's because we, we had weapons that were 47 years old. They were so old, nobody even knew if they worked. And now we have a very powerful nuclear power again, and that's because we rebuilt our entire military and all because you had a president who always put America first. And you remember this. The fake news media said my personality would get us into war. But actually, as it turned out, it was my personality that kept us the hell out of war. And as 